There are many things I didn't know before. I cried unto God and I said, Father, grant me wisdom. Grant me wisdom. Grant me wisdom. When Hello viewers, you're welcome to my channel. Please do well to subscribe, join the community. Without further ado, let's dive into today's video. And that impartation comes. It is part of the ministry of wisdom to discern people before they become. It is wisdom that will help you to see someone and know that that is going to be the greatest prayer secretary, the greatest um, Bible study secretary, the greatest pastor that will come out from you because you cannot know in the flesh. You can see somebody so stubborn, but wisdom can tell you endure. There is a giant rising out of here. If you don't have wisdom, you will drive good people from your life because you cannot see their future at that point. All leaders need wisdom. It is the ability to harness potential. You can see somebody looking all loyal and wonderful, but the Spirit of God tells you, get this person out of your organization now. Ten years from now, you will regret. It's wisdom. All leaders become true leaders because of the presence of wisdom. Are you listening now? This is very important. Some of you have given your cheeks to all kinds of Judas. There's left keys from Judas, right keys from, because you don't know. Jesus will say, come unto me, you will call him a demon. Judas will say, come and you will come because there's no wisdom. The ability to discern is not there. There are many of you, everybody in your life have, has access to your holy of holies. It is not wisdom. The tabernacle was built carrying three layers. There is the outer court. There are things that stay at the outer court. There is the inner court. There are people and things that stay at the inner court. Only foolish people grant anybody access to the inner chambers of your life and your destiny. It doesn't work that way. I learn by wisdom and from men that carry wisdom. Never promote people beyond their last level of honor. It is a disaster. So says wise people. When you promote this honor, you are putting a knife at your own neck. This alone can be a deliverance for someone. Are we in church? You want to see the glory of God manifest in your life? You need wisdom. You need wisdom. Apostle, but God gave me four boys. I'm tired of them. Let me tell you the truth. Your tiredness has not even started till you get wisdom. Because those boys are not the... You are, gone are the days where a parent is the only person that mentors the children. Social media carries more influence on them than many families. You will need wisdom. Are we together? Years ago, if you don't like what your children are watching, all you need to do is to off the central television and that's the end of it. Everybody goes to sleep with anger, but they go to sleep. Unfortunately, as you are off in that television, it becomes a, a more convenient viewership for the people. They can flip all kinds of things. You need wisdom. There are many unending battles in the lives of people because they lack wisdom. God comes to Solomon by night and says, ask, what will I give to you? And he said, I am young. I'm not able to lead these people. Would you give me an understanding heart to discern judgment? That was a way of asking for wisdom. And God was so impressed. He says, you had a chance to ask for the life of your enemies. You had a chance to ask for all of that because... This is what you ask for. I have given to you what you desire. And in addition, I will give you the thing you did not pray for. Riches, wealth, and honor like no king has ever had. That man woke up not knowing that he had carried wisdom. The first demonstration of wisdom in his life was judging the case between two harlots. That's a very powerful revelation. Because the Bible says two harlots went to sleep. They both had children. Are we together now? And the Bible says, I don't know how they slept, but one slept on her child. I can spend all day teaching on that. So you can sleep on your child and never see the glory of God. Because the Bible says in, I think Luke or so, it says when they awoke, they saw the glory of God. Those who sleep and remain sleeping, sleep on everything, including their visions, including their dreams. So the Bible says the woman once slept on her child and when she woke up in the night, she found out that her child was dead but the child of the other was still alive. To pray in the night. Many things have happened to people in the night. 
It was in the night Joseph confused Rachel with Leah. Night is absence of light. It's not just darkness. Every time you make decisions without light, you are acting in the night. And many mistakes happen in the night. Seven years was added to a man's destiny. Digressing to give you a point. The Bible says Joseph, I mean um, um, Jacob in the house of Laban. Are we together now? He saw Rachel. He liked Rachel. He said, listen, let me work for you for seven years and I'll have Rachel. And by that night, my God, I rebuke night from your life. Yeah. Hear me, I prophesy to you, everything that covers you from accessing light and you are, you are groping in the night, making all kinds of destiny mistakes, may your eyes be open. Yeah. The Bible says, he called the darkness night and the light he called day. So day is not just afternoon or morning. Day is whenever your light comes. Darkness is you can be 12 noon in the afternoon, but it can still be night for you because there is no light. Do you know how many things happen in the night? Good things do happen in the night. At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They sang. Deliverance happened in the night. But trouble happened in the night. Should I tell you one more thing that happened in the night? While men slept. Which farmer comes to plant in the night? Come on, talk to me. Do you plant in the night? You rest in the night. But there is a mysterious farmer. And he will come near your house sooner or later. Because he roams around. He's waiting for those. The moment he sees darkness over your life, he assumes you are ready to sleep. Darkness can mean spiritual slumber. I'm saying many things already to someone tonight. Darkness can mean a state where you are not conscious of spiritual things. While men slept, this mysterious farmer who does not farm in the day. No. While you are active, giving God praise, watering your seeds, watering your destiny, that farmer stays far and keeps hoping that discouragement will bring night upon you keeps hoping that whatever will bring night the moment he sees your son going down aha uh -huh, he carries his seeds so that you intend to plant favor but what you are reaping is pain and all kinds of things and you are wondering who joined me in this farming because i remember the seeds i intended to sow you see if you farm in the day you can know when a stranger intrudes. But when it is darkness, you will not know when someone is also throwing seeds in your farm. Again, I pray for you. May darkness be far from your life. May darkness be far from your life. You know what seeds are? Let me tell you what the farmer carries. According to the parable that Jesus gave, seeds are words. This is what makes the seeds powerful because you don't have to be at the location where the disaster should happen for the seeds to fall. You can stand from a distance and still sow. Wisdom. You need to pray for wisdom tonight. There are many of us that lack wisdom. It is clear. Everybody you brought into your life was the person sent by the devil to destroy you and you didn't have the eyes to see what you need is wisdom are we together now yeah. wisdom no discernment when trouble was about to come in an area the person in that house left and you were the one who went and entered the house as soon as you entered the house the police came and said whoever is in this house should go to the police station you say i'm a new tenant i just came yesterday they say follow us still wisdom wisdom is connected to mighty works i have seen many people who love god but they cannot do much for the glory of god because there is no wisdom many families have become and remain small many destinies have become and remain small because they lack wisdom i saw the deficiency of wisdom in my life i knew that wisdom was beyond education 
thank God for education they are enhancers but let me tell you the truth the wisdom that comes from above is an endowment of the spirit and when it rests upon your life wisdom is one of those things that speak immediately honestly if it comes if it actually lands on your head it speaks immediately quality superior decisions you can see someone and wisdom will draw you go and greet the person and that becomes the relationship that lifts you to the next level and people just look at your life and say why are you just scaling height it's like everything you touch turns to gold that is the very assignment of wisdom hallelujah let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me oh rest on me oh tell you the truth when the wisdom of God is at work in your life there is no problem that will not have an answer in your life it's a matter of time show me a man that carries the wisdom of God bring any problem spiritual problem organizational problem you clear out of the way just give him time you will begin to see manifestations that are superhuman abilities and suggestions beyond the frame of humans let me tell you the truth hear me some of you your businesses are remaining small like this what you need is beyond an idea you need the help of god come in as his wisdom pastor you may need the wisdom of god to bail you out of the reproach that stares you in ministry you need wisdom let not the wise man glory there are men that the bible acknowledges as wise men the wisdom of God is at work in their lives. Given by God. Given by God. Given by God. Ladies can carry wisdom. Men can carry wisdom. Adults can carry wisdom. Children can carry wisdom. When the wisdom of God is at work in your life, you don't just read verses. You draw mysteries from the verses you are reading. If you are still reading verses, you just have knowledge. The moment you can see light, in a verse light in a story the point of destiny application in any and every story the wisdom of god has arrived in your life can i tell you you will read the story of the ten virgins and close your bible that is knowledge you will read the story of noah and the ark and close your bible that is knowledge nothing from that story can apply to your life i hope you know that behind every verse there is the wisdom of god hiding and behind the wisdom of god there is the power of god that is the order the scripture then wisdom stands then power stands behind it the power does not move until the wisdom asks it to move the value of power is when it is directed by wisdom Power is like the foil, but wisdom is like the vehicle. What will you be doing with foil when you don't have a car to drive it with? Mighty organizations can rise when the believers understand wisdom. The ability to discern, the ability to know judgment. Honor is a derivative of wisdom. When wisdom is at work in you, it will let you know that there are people you don't fight in your life even if they are not born again there are people who are not castable god honors their position and god will give make them to be at peace with you so that you will go you will try to fight them your life will be damaged in a way you cannot imagine wisdom there are cyruses there are gatekeepers in the world of men although they are not saved the sincerity of their heart has earned them a position that God recognizes. You don't fight such people. You pray that God grants them favor with you so that the gate can be open for you. There are many foolish people that have carried zeal without knowledge to their detriment. How about honor? It is wisdom that teaches you 
that when you see results you have not had acknowledge it with your heart open and you will receive from it wisdom listen when the wisdom of God comes upon you everything becomes a lecturer to you everything you look at the ants you are learning something you look at men you are learning something you look at fools you are learning something you look at wise people you are learning something you look at plants you are learning something one day I sat down somewhere and I was watching a tree and I saw leaves falling under the tree and I was just watching quietly and the Spirit of God spoke to me he said what you are learning is called the law of reciprocity that everything that is feeding you you must also feed it to remain the leaves coming from that tree are also falling on the ground they will become manure you see that now every time you stop feeding and I had a man of God say this later that when you stop feeding what is feeding you if it dies you will die so when somebody is a destiny helper you also water that person's life by praying that what is making that person have the money to give you may it continue that is you feeding what is feeding you I'm giving you wisdom